So right now I'm recording with both the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro. And in this video, I wanna show you eight different features that make the DJI Mic 2 better than the Rode Wireless Pro. All right, let's get into it. So the weather is pretty awful today. It's pouring down rain here at the beach. So, but check this out. I just rebuilt my Jeep for like a mobile command center when I'm out filming, doing adventure stuff. And so even though it's raining, it's a perfect spot to shoot and edit from. But right now you're hearing the audio from both of these microphones. And I also just wanna say a special thanks to DJI for sponsoring this video. But I just wanna give you the raw sound right out of both of these mics. You can see them down here on my chest. So I'm shooting with the 32-bit internal recording on both the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro. And I'm switching between them right now. You can see it in the upper left and right hand corner. So you can hear how both of these microphones sound. And just so you're aware, no processing is done in editing software to make these sound any different. All I'm doing is boosting the levels so that everything's hitting around negative six so that it's all at the same level for the edit. But here's what's going on. I've got ocean over there, just crashing waves. I've got a road over here, and then I've got wind hitting me now dead on. And so this is the sound between both microphones, raw audio. And this brings us to the first big thing that makes the DJI Mic 2 better than the Rode Wireless Pro. And that is the noise reduction feature on the DJI Mic 2. So if I just click the power button once, I now turned on noise reduction. And so you can see how much different this sounds because it's doing this auto noise reduction on the microphone without having to do any extra processing in your editing software. The Rode Wireless Pro does not have this feature. So the audio that you're gonna get out of the Rode Wireless Pro is basically this. But with the DJI Mic 2, you get this extra option to have this noise canceling ability so that if you are in a noisy environment, like I am here, it's very noisy, you know that you could get some clean audio out of it especially if you're someone who's moving fast or you're a solo creator or you're just doing something like creating YouTube content and you don't wanna do a bunch of extra post editing in your editing software. Well, that's where this noise cancellation comes into play and it's a good way to cut out all of the background sounds and just focus on vocals. Now, the second big win for the DJI Mic 2 is the fact that you can pair using Bluetooth on other devices. So if you want to pair the DJI Mic 2 transmitter to your Pocket 3, to your Action 4, or to your smartphone, or any other Bluetooth device. I tested it with the Ace Pro, and it works connected to that as well. So if you wanna use the DJI Mic 2 transmitter and pair it with another device, well then you can pair it using Bluetooth. So it just opens up the flexibility to be able to use this system. And if you are someone who just wants to buy the transmitter and pair it with your phone, well you can use it in that way. And DJI gives you the ability to purchase this microphone, whether it is the full kit with two mics and one receiver, one mic, one receiver, or even just one of the transmitters as a standalone. And also there's the gray and the white options. So there's a lot of flexibility with how you can purchase this microphone and how you could use it in a variety of settings. Now, another feature where the DJI Mic 2 really excels is the fact that you have a lot of controls on the receiver. So on the outside of the receiver, it's a touchscreen. You can control everything from the touchscreen within the microphone. But right here on the front of it, there's a dial with a click button. And when you click into this, you can control the gain out or you can control the mic volume of each transmitter. So you don't have to go into the deeper menu to control the volume of this microphone. You don't have to use an application to change any of your settings. So on the DJI Mic 2, everything's done through swipes on the touchscreen and this dial, or you click a button on the transmitter itself. However, with the Rode Wireless Pro, you can do some things on the transmitter and the receiver but there is a lot of features that are buried deep into the app that you have to connect using a USB-C cable. For a lot of creators, it's frustrating to always have to plug in your receiver to be able to change these settings. Whereas there's definitely times that you wanna just do it on the receiver itself when you're actually out recording. Just changing like a one setting to be able to continue to record, it's just an extra step that makes the Rode Wireless Pro a little bit frustrating to work with. And the DJI Mic 2 just has everything on the transmitter so it's an easier system. So this is a pretty cool feature of this new setup. I have a desk right here. So I can sit here, work at my desk, and look out at the ocean, which is how I'm gonna edit this video after I finish shooting it. But the next thing that really makes the DJI Mic 2 stand out is the case. 
and the whole system of how it works. So the DJI Mic 2 has the same style of case as the original DJI Mic. It's a hard case and it's a very sleek case, so this easily fits into your backpack. Now DJI has added a clip on the front so that it locks so that this can never open and your transmitter and your receivers can never pop out. Now with the Rode Wireless Pro, you have a similar case, however, it's a softer case and it also has this zipper to open and close. It's a little bit more chunky and it's just awkward, so it's not the best case for the system. However, both of these are charging cases. But another thing when it comes to the cases is that the Rode Wireless Pro has two of these cases that are pretty much identical. One is a charging case and one is just for all your accessories. Now with the DJI, all your accessories go in one of these soft pouches, kind of like the Pocket 3. And the DJI Mic 2 case also fits in here. Now this is an all-in-one system, so you don't have two cases floating around your bag and this just slips in the backpack easily. Now I wanna pause the video for one second and just let you know that this entire video was graded using my set of adventure LUTs that I use whenever I'm out filming and all of my videos are color graded with these LUTs. And if you wanna check out all the LUTs that I have available, I'll include a link down below in the description. Look at that, the rain stopped. It's warming up too. Now, another big thing with the DJI Mic 2 is that the transmitters themselves are smaller. So with the Rode Wireless Pro, you have the square design and it's a little bit chunky whereas the DJI Mic 2 is more of a sleek, smaller design. And with that, both of these transmitters do have a shine to them. So if you don't want them to be reflecting off of a light or something, you're gonna have to just put a piece of gaff tape over them. Also, it will cover the logo if that's kind of intrusive, if you have it on the outside of your shirt or wherever you're holding it. And with both of these microphones, you could turn off the lights so that you don't see them. But another design feature that actually is better in the DJI Mic 2 is the windscreen. So right now I'm recording both of these with the windscreen because I'm walking into the wind. So otherwise you'd be hearing some pretty bad audio. But also I have the noise cancellation turned on. And I'm gonna turn that off. We're back to just normal audio on the DJI Mic 2. But I'm walking into the wind. This is what it sounds like. There's a breeze hitting me. But the windscreen attachment for the Rode Wireless Pro, it's a little bit frustrating to get on. You have to push it on and twist. And it's not the best connection. Once you get it in there, it's very secure but it takes a second to get it on right. Whereas with the DJI Mic 2, it's got a little piece that sticks out that goes into the microphone jack and it just clicks on easily. So in terms of ease of use, the popping on and off the windscreen is easier with the DJI Mic 2. Whoa, whoa, that's windy. Let's turn the noise canceling on. So the next thing is the design of how you actually see the screen when you're working with the receiver. Now, both of these work well as just a standalone recorder that you can put on yourself record audio and you don't actually have to have it connected to the camera. But when it is connected to the camera, the DJI Mic 2 has a screen that either faces in the back, in the forwards, or either side. So wherever you're positioned around your camera, you could easily see your screen to be able to use the touch screen and be able to see all of your data. However, on the Rode Wireless Pro, it's on the top. So when the receiver is put on the camera, you have to look up and over to be able to see any of your settings and to be able to see your audio levels bouncing up and down. Now, in a lot of situations, when your camera's lower than you, this is fine. But as soon as you put the camera higher, now you have to take the receiver off to be able to see your settings and then put it back on. It does make it a little bit more frustrating to work with, especially as a solo creator, because I could take the DJI Mic 2, flip it around so the screen's facing me, and now when I'm in this kind of a setting, when I'm talking to camera, I can always see my levels. I can always see what's going on. I don't have to go behind camera to check anything before I actually hit record. Now, another feature that is unique to the DJI Mic 2 is the fact that the transmitters actually vibrate when you're performing different actions. And this is great because it gives you a little haptic feedback that tells you your microphone's recording, it stopped recording, powered on. Like all of this is very useful, especially if you are a solo creator, just so you have that little indication that something has happened with the microphone. There is no vibrating on the Rode Wireless Pro transmitters. And so that's one thing that I really appreciate with the DJI Mic 2. Now, if you want more information about the DJI Mic 2, I'll put that down below in the description. And next, you should check out this video right here, which goes through my nine shot formula so that you never miss a shot when you're out filming and you always have enough footage for your edit. I'll see you over there.